Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. This kind of follows along Spotify choosing the books that I read, but I've curated a playlist and when we shuffle that playlist, it'll choose which book we read by the song that's chosen and the song that starts playing. So we all know I love to listen to music when I'm reading. I think it just enhances the reading experience, especially when you get that perfect song for the book. So I typed in the books that I have on my TBR and the books I wanted to include in this video and I found some other playlists that were created by other people and I found some songs and I picked three for each book and I put them into my own playlist i put them in randomly i'll show you the books and the songs that i've correlated with them and we're just gonna hit shuffle and whatever song it lands on is the book we will be reading for this video we're gonna do probably three books so let's go through the tbr there's a few books that i don't have that i can either read on kindle or obviously just buy but i put them on there anyway so we're gonna have to buy those but first book i don't have that comes out tomorrow is check and mate the songs i put for this one is bejeweled king of my heart and the only exception then we have two twisted crowns by rachel gillig the songs are war of hearts i did something bad young and beautiful it was really hard to pick songs that, from these playlists that weren't all taylor swift because every single book playlist i listen to has so much taylor swift and so many taylor swift songs just go to so many books but i tried not to pick all taylor swift songs then we have collided and it's i want to be yours ribs and i lost a friend then we have king of wrath and the songs are teeth art deco and astronomy then we have the right move which is another book i don't have but that one i would probably read on my kindle it's delicate right now and like real people do then i put this one in i don't know if i really want to do this because i've been reading the tandem read for throne of glass and it's been taking me a while so i don't know if i'm gonna do this if a song we get goes to these books but i included it anyway because i'm currently reading it but this is tower of dawn and empire stories it's the tandem read like i said for throne of glass and the songs i put for this glory and gore breakfast and mad woman these violent delights and the songs are haunted as the world caves in and where's my love and the last one we have is these hollow vows and the songs are game of survival you should see me in a crown and do i want to know but here is the playlist that i made i just titled it music chooses and here are all the songs i put them in all randomly i didn't put them like in order of the books i just chose one and put it in and like went like that it's all random so we are going to just hit shuffle it's already on shuffle but we're gonna press play whatever song it lands on and the song that correlates to the book or whatever book that song correlates to is the one we will be reading i'm really hoping for a romance because i've been reading the tandem read for a while and i just i need something that's like a palette cleanser type of book so that's what i'm hoping for but we have a range here so we will see are you ready we're gonna hit shuffle one two three Okay, we got Delicate by Taylor Swift. Oh, it correlates to The Right Move. I'm really excited about this one. One, because I wanted a romance. Two, because I know everyone that's read this is obsessed with it. I'm excited. So I'm going to download it on my Kindle. We're going to read it part of the Windy City series. I did not enjoy the first book in that series, Mile High. I actually DNF'd that, but everyone that has read The Right Move has said that they're obsessed with it and that they love the main characters and the story is so good. So I'm excited to see the hype on this one. I'm actually going to go buy Check and Mate because that's part of one of the books on here and I don't have that yet and it comes out soon. And I'm hoping that's one of the books that's chosen through this video so we're gonna buy that together and then we're gonna go and read the right move okay so real quick i'm gonna talk about top cashback and if you guys heard me talk about it in a previous video honestly more recently i've been obsessed with this website so it's basically just a website that you can search different retailers and get cash back while you're shopping and you guys know that i am one of the biggest online shoppers like it has become a problem but this has actually saved me if you saw it in my last video i actually ordered the powerless by lauren roberts signed edition from top cashback and i got some money back from shopping on books a million which is where i bought this i was so ecstatic when i got that all you have to do is make an account and then you log right in and then you can search different retailers on here so let's type in books a million because that's the one that i shopped on last time and it just it was so fun so right now they have three percent cash back but if we go to book outlet let's try this one there's 5.05 percent cash back so all of them are obviously different percentages of cash back and what you're gonna do is once you find the retailer where you want to shop on right now we're gonna do books a million because i want to get check and mate you just click on it and then you click get cash back now and it takes you right to their website it is so easy to so quick so once you get to the website obviously you shop and you find what you want you search what products you're looking for here is the paperback by Allie Hazelwood all you're gonna do is you're gonna add it to cart and you're gonna buy the product in your account you can go to your earnings and you can take the payout and you can put the money into your bank account one of my favorite parts is you don't have to go on the top cashback website to search different retailers or how much percentage they have you can search that way if you go to a website say Walmart on the top right there's a browser extension that you can add to your Google Chrome and it tells you once you get on that website it'll just pop up how much percent cashback you can get so on Walmart right now you can get up to 10% cash back 
back and to add the browser extension you just click more you click browser extension and then you just install it it takes two seconds and it'll pop up while you're shopping which is so amazing so the categories to earn cash back from change frequently and not everything on the site can earn you cash back but you can always view what's currently available by visiting the book outlet merchant page on top cashbacks there's amazing retailers on here target walmart sephora ugg like there's so many big ones you can earn money back while you're shopping why would you not want to do that why would you not want to get money back for spending money so let's go on so just to see let's see what sephora is looking like right now so sephora you can get four percent cash back if you're like, which is just it's so amazing you're earning money for shopping like i said they have amazing retailers on here and they have over seven thousand retailers and they offer a hundred percent of commission back to members and because of that they consistently feature higher rates than their competitors there's also no minimum for payout so if you're shopping online you get a certain amount cash back even if it's a dollar you can take it out of your account into your bank account there's no minimum there and you guys can get a ten dollar top cash back sign up bonus plus cash back upon spending twenty five dollars if you click the link in my description so if you guys are interested you can buy literally anything through this website books clothes makeup whatever retailers you want to search up and what percent cash back you get and again the link is in my description if you're interested highly recommend i've been using this like so much the extension browser has been my best friend when i'm shopping online because i do it frequently so so i'm gonna go purchase check and mate through books a million and eventually when that comes i'm just gonna hope that that's the one that we get chosen for this video i don't know why i'm just really excited about this book so i'm gonna go buy this and then we will start the right move which i'm also very excited about check and mate is ordered let's go download the right move by liz tom ford it's fake dating i'm so excited okay i'm gonna start this right now it's basketball romance i think she ends up living with him it's sister's best friend it's the first book the main character girl this is her best friend it's the main character from the first book's brother and it's fake dating i think they have to live together or something like that i'm not too sure it is pretty long it's like around four or something pages so i'm really excited about this i'm in the mood for a book like this so i will come back with updates and thoughts and opinions which is acts of service which i'm almost 100 sure it is from what he's been doing for her and i'm only on chapter six 48 pages in this is gonna be rough for me because that is my love language and reading about it just does something to me okay this is not a spoiler 40 pages in she moved into his apartment because she needs somewhere to stick he bought her a mattress and the sheets that he bought her to put on it were lavender and she randomly told him when they met that her favorite color was lavender just like really like really quickly like just like in the middle of when they were talking like nothing like that would stick out and he remembered and he bought the sheets in lavender but it's a sweet gesture and i loved that <sighs> i'm on chapter six i'm gonna read more now i'm literally only 48 pages in it's going really slow like the page count why do i love her i'm literally only hold on i have so much to say and i'm only 67 pages in well she reads romance books and they're doing the whole fake dating thing and she's <laughs> she said <laughs> i'm gonna need to turn you into one of my book boyfriends first and then she says do you know how to growl he says what she says yeah i don't really know what that's supposed to sound like but every one of my book boyfriends is big into growling oh and can you darken your eyes yeah when you pretend to get anger act really turned on can you darken your eyes he says no i can't darken my eyes what the hell are you reading <laughs> and it's so funny because she's a book girl like us i love when authors throw in that like the main character reads it's very relatable obviously but not just like reading but like like this specific details of like romance books that we read into the main character of a book i don't know why i love it so much anyway i love her i love their dynamic between each other i think it's really fun and i love fake dating so i'm really excited about this and the whole forced proximity because she moved into his house or his apartment whatever i'm really enjoying it i think i needed a book like this because reading the tandem and throne of glass has really what's the word i haven't had a romance in a while because Thunderbolt has like subtle romances in it but not like anything heavy like it's not like a romantic or anything so i've been deprived of a romance so things are looking up i've had a lot to say so far but i'm gonna read a bunch more and if i have anything to say i'll come back because clearly i've had some opinions already but so far so good i'm enjoying it i'm loving their not the connection their what's the word relationship no dynamic i'm loving their dynamic
Okay guys, it is now- whoa! I almost just shot my Kindle. It is now the next day and I got to chapter, not chapter, I got to 61% of this book and I've been really enjoying it even from the beginning, like just their dynamic, like I said, I loved so much and I still to this point love it, but you know when there's like fake dating as the trope and it's clear that they care like about each other, but in their heads they're like, oh no, we're still faking it, they're still faking it, like who knows if it's true, like no, it's very clear from both of you guys that it's real. Like, you are at this point where it's like, we know, and they know. Like, I know that both of them know that it's not faking anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's like that part of the fake dating that I don't love. I love the fake dating where they have to be obviously faking in front of other people and you get those like little touches that are like showing as if it were fake but like it truly means something. That's what I mean. I will say aside from like their relationship, like his like basketball career and her past of what happened when this book started, like I really enjoy those storylines as well. Like all of it mixed together, I'm really enjoying. I really like the writing. I feel like some parts are a little repetitive and a little bit dragged out almost like I'm reading this and I'm like not that I'm not enjoying it but like you ever read a book and you're like okay I kind of want it to like wrap up now <laughs> not in a mean way though like I just like I'm ready for the end you know what I mean like I'm ready to see how it ends and to see their happily ever after I think that Ryan J is top tier book boyfriend and now I understand why it's because I was reading a part of this book and in my head the lyric from Slut by Taylor Swift like her vault track from 1989 where it says in a world of boys he's a gentleman that is like the definition of Ryan Shay. like he is has such a nurturing and caring personality like just from the start of meeting or like indie moving in the things he would do for her the things he would remember the way he takes care of her just like subconsciously like not really thinking about it even though at some points he's like i want to do this for her but still like subconsciously the things that he does for her and remembers about her and like things about her i think it's just like such an amazing trait that ryan shay has and his love language is definitely acts of service and i love that that's like my love language so seeing it in a book just like to the next level is amazing but some of the stuff that he does i'm like swooning over but then i'm like this is like not realistic that's why i love reading about fake relationships and fake book boyfriends because it's like the things they do are just so unrealistic the things they say if anyone in real life said that i'd be like you know it just hits better in a book i like the both of them i really love indy's character i think she's very relatable and very likable character i'm really enjoying her so everything so far is good i'm really really enjoying it i'm just i'm ready for it to be over i'm gonna go finish and then we'll choose our next book also wait not yet also i love how he's like the protective type like not just because he's like i don't know how to explain it like you know when they're like jealous but like protective i love it. i love it and he is like the blueprint for that like he i don't know i don't want to say any scenes because there was one scene in this book that i think would have hit harder if i didn't see it on tiktok like before i read this book i saw all over tiktok when people were talking about this one this like specific scene about what ryan shay does for her and like if i didn't know what happened in that scene i think it would have hit really hard when i was reading it but like i knew it was happening so i was like eh it still is really cute but like i don't know so I'm not gonna say any other scenes that I think to prove my point about Ryan Shay. You just have to read it to understand what everyone is saying about him and why he's kind of like top tier. But he gets all the spotlight when I really love Indy. Like Indy the main girl, like she is so cute. I love her. Okay, now I'm gonna finish. So I finally finished The Right Move. I kind of binged the last, I think like 30% of it this morning. And I don't know what it is about reading on this Kindle. Usually I love reading on my Kindle. It goes fast, but it went so slow reading this book. I don't know what it was about it. Like I would be reading and like flipping pages, but then I would look and like I would click the page that I'm on and it like wouldn't move that much. I don't know, but it was really annoying me. So it took a while to get through, but I think I'm going to land on a four star for this book. I 100% can agree and see why people give this like a six star book. Like for the romance standards that we have in our book, boyfriends like Ryan Shay is the blueprint. Like I completely get that and I understand why he's like top of boyfriend for so many people. I just think when it got to like the 50-60% mark, they kind of lost me. It, I felt like I was getting a little bit dragged out and there was like this one scene I was really waiting for and when that part came, which I love when this happens in like any romance novels when they go to like this type of like place, I guess. I don't want to give anything away, but I was waiting for it to happen because they talked about it so much throughout the book and it was only like a thing for like maybe like 10, 11 pages. Like it was pretty short, short and sweet and kind of like we're done with this now. We're going to the next thing. I don't know. It kind of bothered me and like the end, I just wanted to like shake the both of them and be like, just use your words, you know, and it's like that. But other than that, I loved the main characters so much. I think Indy is just so cute. I think she's so real. I think she's very relatable. I really enjoyed her character. Also loved Ryan Shay, of course. Everything he was doing was just like chef's kiss. He is the king of caring and doing things for others and like acts of service love language like that is him so loved it loved the story i do think that sports romances aren't my favorite so maybe that's why i didn't love it like too too much and like it could kind of drag out at some points for me like i think it could have been a little bit shorter i don't know that's just me so four stars where i'm gonna land at this one i really enjoyed it it was really good and i understand why everyone loves it so 
I'm happy I got that one knocked off the list. Let's pick our next book out. So the plays that I made, I took out the songs that went with the right move. And again, those were Delicate by Taylor Swift, Right Now by One Direction, and Like Real People Do by Hozier. And those songs now, listening to them, like I can connect it to the book. And I think all of them are perfect for this book. Like they just all make sense. So I took those out of the playlist that I've made. And now we're going to shuffle and we're going to choose our next book. I did go out and buy Check and Make because my order is not here yet. And I really want this to be picked. And I really want to read this. So I went out to Barnes and I bought it. My friend wanted a copy of this so the one that's getting delivered I'm just gonna give to her anyway so it's okay that I got this one but I have all of the books here that we will be choosing from not we but the music will be choosing for us so let's shuffle this and let's see the next book we're gonna read from this video I wouldn't be mad about a fantasy now I think I've got the romance what's the word I was using I was deprived of a romance I got that out of my system so I'll be happy with any choice maybe not the tandem but listen it's fine okay ready one two three <gasps> I wasn't screen recording but I swear <laughs> I did not fake it <laughs> I got King of My Heart and that's with Check and Mate. Ah! Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the one I wanted to win. Obviously, because I went to go buy it. Maybe it was a sign since I went to buy it that they, they knew I wanted to read it. Oh, I'm so excited. I wanted to read this so bad. Allie Hazelwood's first young adult book. And obviously, like I said, Allie Hazelwood, her new release, it's young adult literally just said all of that but i'm really excited because i love her writing and all of her other books always hit with me like just her writing in general i think it's really unique and really fast paced and you can really like feel the character i don't know when you're in the main character's head in her books i feel like you really i don't know you really feel them like they're very unique characters and i like being in her character's point of view so i'm excited to see her do a ya book i'm very excited i was so in the mood for this i literally bought it last night and i was like you know what if the music doesn't pick this i'm gonna read it anyway we'll start this in a bit and i will give you guys some updates about how i feel i'm so excited Thank you, Spotify Shuffle Gods. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna go find a playlist to listen to the songs for this book with. Okay, I'll be back. check and mate and it's really cute i really love ali hazelwood's writing it reminds me of all her other books obviously because it's her writing but i thought that going into a ya book it was going to be not a little bit different but i don't know it might have been a little different just because they're writing about younger younger age but i love the way that she writes i love her main characters like i said before they're just so unique being in their point of view they're all just so different with their personalities and it just really feels like you're in a new person's head and i know that's weird to say but i feel like sometimes in romance novels you can get like kind of like the same characteristics in a lot of main characters but all of her main at least female main characters I feel like have such personality so I love being in their point of view and I feel like she's not afraid to throw in like humorous like modern day topics like she'll just throw in things that are just like popular going on right now or even just like a TikTok reference and I know a lot of people don't like that but I like the way that she's not like afraid to throw in just like modern day things that are like going on in like the real world but I like the way that she writes obviously it's fast paced I feel like all of her books are you just flows you're just like in the story and I forgot to say what this was about but obviously chess it's a main component of this book and I knew it was gonna be but it's definitely Definitely, like heavy on the chest and not in a way where you're like learning about chess throughout the book I mean you probably could if you don't know anything about chess but it's the same way in her stem romances where it's like you don't know anything about stem or at least I didn't know anything about stem but reading the stem romances you don't need to know anything about science it's just like what the main character is a part of and like that's her job and like her world and what she knows and what she's studied and you're just like in her head and learning through that so like in the chess world I personally do know like fun fact in fifth grade I joined the chess club maybe it was fourth grade but I wanted to get out of lunch so it was during lunch and I would go and I learned some stuff but I don't remember too much I know how the pieces move I know what they're supposed to do but I'm so bad at it like I don't I can't win a game. I am so horrible at it. I know enough about chess. I could play a game. I don't know, but where was I going with that? I have no idea. 
reading this though i feel like you don't need to know anything about chess it is heavy on the chess if you don't like chess you might not like this i don't know but it's like what the main character's like life kind of revolves around but she stopped playing chess for a while it was like her and her dad's thing she was so good at it ever since she was a child but like something happened you don't know what happened and her dad's like no longer in her life she no longer plays chess she doesn't even want to think about chess so when she's 16 it's like the prologue she sees the what's the name nolan she sees him on like a talk show talking about him being a grandmaster it's two years later she's 18 she's also taking care of her family like her two younger sisters her mom who's sick so she has to kind of work a job and get money for the mortgage and take care of what's going on so that's hard for her like keeping up with all of that so she goes to play a chess game with for her friend just like randomly and she plays against nolan who's the main guy character but we haven't really seen too much of him other than that and now she's offered this opportunity to play chess but also as like a job like she'll get paid for it which is obviously like crazy because she needs the money but also because chess is no longer in her life like she's really sworn it off and we don't know why which i'm very intrigued to see like why she doesn't play chess anymore like what really happened and of course i'm over here theorizing what happened because my brain needs to know so i'm excited to see what happened i'm also excited to see when nolan comes back into the scenes in the book i want to know how their little rivalry is going to go on because it's a rivals i think little rivals to lovers type of romance yeah the perfect rivals to lovers romance i'm gonna go read more and i'll come back once i get further in and we'll see we'll see how I feel I want to give one little update before I finish the book because I have about I don't know how many pages are in this I think it's like two not two 320 pages and I'm on 200 so I have like a little over 100 pages left but it goes really quick so I feel like I was about to just sit down and finish this but I want to give a little bit of opinions before I do that so I know this is marketed as her like debut like YA novel but the main character is 18 and the main guy is 20 so I don't know why when I think of YA I think of like between like 15 to 17 year olds and they're like still in high school and like their relationships there I don't know why when I think of YA I don't think of like going into college but i don't know why in my head it doesn't correlate to like ya i feel like it's kind of like on the line of ya i don't know that might just be my opinion but i was just like shook reading it like the way that she's just like a little bit older and like i feel like it's very real her being 18 and what she's like doing and going through and talking about and everything like i think it's a very great depiction of an 18 year old i feel like it's very realistic almost in a sense i guess you could say but from what i know and like what i think about with ya it's not really what this i feel like reading kind of is i do think that she again as an 18 year old everything she's saying and everything that she feels and everything like about her life feels like realistic to an 18 year old but in my head it doesn't like it doesn't connect to YA I don't know why that just might be in my head also I think that the chess is very heavy in this book I think the plot of chess is heavier than the romance plot of this it's very interesting because the main guy he's very like quiet he's like a quiet into himself like the main character Mallory she doesn't really know what Nolan is thinking at all and I wish this was dual point of view because I wish I could see what Nolan is thinking while they're like in the same scenes like talking to each other because you can tell she'll say something and Nolan will say something kind of like vague and you kind of have to read in between his words and you know that he's kind of of trying to say something to her without actually saying it and you know there's something deeper into it so I wish it would all just like come out I wish he would like use his words a little more he's very like quiet more like a watcher and I know there's something like deeper within himself that he wants to say to Mallory about Mallory like I know he has these feelings and he just he doesn't say anything so it's very hard to connect to them on a romance level like I think the romance is not as big of a plot like I'm 200 pages in and I feel like I don't feel this romance connection but I know like on Nolan's side there is but like her her thoughts about Nolan are pretty like physical like she thinks he's attractive and everything but like the actual romance side I don't think it's very heavy but that's not to say it's not good like I'm really enjoying the writing I'm actually really enjoying the chess plot of it I think it's very interesting her going to all these chess things and coming back into the chess world when she wasn't in it and I'm still waiting to see like what exactly happened you get kind of hints of what's going on or like what kind of happened with her dad and I'm trying to wait and see what happened like the actual chess situation like why she didn't play anymore I kind of have like an inkling a little theory of what happened that's just my random two cents on this book since reading a bit more I want to go finish it now and I want to really see how this one ends I want to see how their kind of relationship kind of goes further and I really am intrigued of what Nolan has to say because I feel like he's like keeping so much to himself and I really just want him to say something and I just want him to like I don't know like I know he has something inside he's like trying for her to pick up on do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just gonna read some more and I'm gonna finish this and then we'll come back I'll give you my rating and we'll pick up our final book of the video I 
finished Check and Mate a little bit ago. Actually, not a little bit ago. I finished it maybe like 30 minutes ago, but I wanted to finish it earlier or like, okay. Why do I not know how to explain myself? I started... <sighs> I don't even have to explain when I finish it, but I finish it. That's all we need to know. I'm still stuck on my rating for it because right after my last clip talking, it kind of slowed down for me. And I really think that it was just like, I know the book was about chess. The main character chess is just like, that's the thing. But I think it was too heavy on like the chess and the tournaments and all of that and not as heavy on the romance that when the romance kind of kicked up a little bit i didn't really feel it and it was weird because i felt it from nolan's side and not really from mallory's side like i loved nolan like i really enjoyed his character i enjoyed like the way he was like saying things and how he's kind of like to himself and like doesn't really show his cards and stuff but seeing the way him and Mallory were like it didn't really make sense to me in my head I don't know why I don't really have an explanation for this I was trying to think about how I could explain how I feel about them and I just can't like I don't know so I didn't really love the romance aspect of it too much it was really sweet the things that like Nolan would say the writing was really good though I love Ali Hazelwood's writing her writing is one of my favorites it's so not just that it's fast-paced but like it's so unique that I keep saying it's unique but it really is and I really enjoyed being in Mallory's point of view with like her family dynamic and her struggles with the chess and her family and all of that like I really enjoyed her as a character and her figuring all that out I just think that the chess for this being like a YA romance novel. I just think the chess was a little too on the forefront. I also didn't love the way this ended because like I said, chess was so big that like I thought the ending, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I thought the ending was gonna be different than what it was. And it didn't really focus on what I thought it was going to. It kind of ended a little shorter than I expected. So it wasn't bad ending. I just not, like I thought I, what I expected the ending to be, I guess. But yeah, it was good. I think I'm gonna land on like a three, three and a half. It wasn't anything crazy. I liked the writing, but the story I think just wasn't for me personally. I think if you enjoy chess, you'll love this book if you enjoy <laughs> Allie Hazelwood's writing you'll enjoy this book I think that the romance again it's not like too heavy but there are some scenes and some quotes in this book with the romance part specifically that are really cute I just don't it's just that I don't I just don't think it was my favorite and that's okay. Now let's see the songs that were with that because I was listening to a playlist and I just don't really know if the songs that I put with this are like like, do they make sense? We're about to find out. So with this book, we had Bejeweled. Best believe I'm still Bejeweled when I walk in the room. I think that Bejeweled makes sense with it. King of My Heart, the only exception. I think these songs make sense with it. I do. I also like that she was like a girl in the chess field that's more male dominated and they kind of focus on that too. I really enjoyed that and seeing that perspective. But yeah, these songs make sense with it. So I picked some good songs. Picking these songs at first, I just like blindly went into it. Okay, let's pick our last book. We'll go to my playlist. Let me take these songs out of the playlist and we will shuffle and pick our last book. I'm kind of in a fantasy mood now. I I've gotten the romance out of my system. One, two, three. <gasps> okay, so we got Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey and that is Two Twisted Crowns by Rachel Gillig. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to read this since it came out. It's the second and the final book to complete the duology of One Dark Window, which is the first one in this little duology. And I'm so excited because I really wanted a fantasy and I think this is perfect because it'll complete the duology and I'll just feel, I'll feel good that that's completed. I don't have this on my list anymore. The first book ends off on a pretty big cliffhanger. The first book is basically about this illness that took over the city and is it a city or just like the world? Like I don't know if it was, which one it was, but but it was said to be like gotten rid of like no one has the illness anymore there's also a mist that's like taking over basically and in order to get rid of the mist you have to collect the 12 providence cards and those are like what holds the magic in the world which is very interesting like the magic system is within those 12 cards so our main character is actually like sick with the sickness and in her head is nightmare she has like nightmares in her head and like has like the thoughts in her head and kind of like annoys her and she doesn't want him in there anymore she doesn't want the sickness anymore so in order to get rid of that and in order to get rid of the mist she has to collect all 12 providence cards and she does that with the other main character rain is that his name raven is his name raven yes i think it's raven <laughs> i don't really remember that much but i do remember i loving the storyline like the eeriness of it like the gothic fantasy vibes like it was just so good so well written and so interesting and different than any other fantasies i've read and i really enjoyed that so i'm excited to get into this i'm really excited this one won so thank you to my spotify shuffle oh i'm so excited got my music got my book i'm gonna go start this i'm so excited to see like how it picks up because like i said the first one ends on a pretty big cliffhanger so i'll let you guys know how it goes the first one i think i rated four point was it four point five 4.25 it was above a four but like not a five it's like in between that range so it was really good okay i'm gonna start this i will give you guys some updates when i get into it
Okay, it's been a few days since I started this. I'm now on page 140. I've been reading it kind of slow, but not that it's not good. I'm really enjoying the storyline. I think a little bit more than the first one because we get a new point of view in here. And I feel like the way the first one ended, like I said, it was a big cliffhanger. And I was kind of curious how the author was going to do this type of trope in this book. It's not my favorite, but she's doing it like really well because you get the timeline and the point of view of how the first book ended, like those characters and what's going on with them. But then you get another like more main focus, at least right now in the book of another character's point of view. And I'm really happy she included it in here because I feel like it's giving more to it and you're getting another like I guess romance subplot in this book or even just romance little inkling of like flirt going on I don't know but the character she gave the other point of view to I'm like eating it up like I'm loving it so much and I'm so happy she included it it's so good so you get that and like their situation going on but then the plot of like the characters from the first book obviously like their plot I'm really enjoying because it's more of like the eerie gothic and like undertone of dark kind of themes going on and i really am enjoying that because again that's like the whole vibe of this book and the first one is like very like eerie vibes and i'm really enjoying that and i really want to see how they're going to figure out how to fix what happened in the first book like i love the magic system in this like the cards and everything like this is just so cool i really am enjoying her writing and i'm loving the different point of views that we're getting now in this book i think it's really doing it justice like i'm eating it up like i'm loving this so i'm gonna read probably a bunch today i really want to finish this tomorrow so i want to get halfway to Day. the book is about a little over 400 pages so i want to get around the 200 mark today and then tomorrow i really want to finish this so i'm loving it i didn't think i was going to annotate this book but there's some good quotes and dialogue that's going on which is making me you see my smile it's always when there's like a romance something going on i like start eating it up and not that there wasn't like obviously in the main timeline there was in the first book there was romance but like this one you get like a new romance and like i just love it oh it's so good okay i'm gonna go read some more i'm so excited I finally just finished Two Twisted Crowns literally like maybe 30 seconds ago and I have so many thoughts but a lot of positive ones for this. I feel like this is how you make a second novel a completion to a duology and like giving the readers I think exactly what they want. There's a little bit of more I wanted from one little plot point that I feel like is a little bit bigger in this duology. I can't really say too much obviously but I think the author did an incredible job giving us more and giving us what we wanted at least for me because like I said the way the first one ended it's a pretty big cliffhanger so I feel like going into this one the first one you already have like a, a romance kind of established in a way where you have to figure out what's gonna happen in this one and I think she did an incredible job with adding a new point of view a new storyline but having it all connect in a way and with that new storyline and point of view you get a new romance to kind of hold on to and I love the feeling of romance fantasy and the plot in this and the eeriness and the gothic fantasy all of it mixed together was so good and you get so much more background into one of like the characters from the first book and the history of the magic I just think it was done so incredibly well like this is the perfect way to finish off the duology like I am satisfied I loved it the writing was so good I just feel like the characters from the first book she made us care a little bit about like even the side characters so when you get into this one getting more of their storyline I was just excited to get into this because it kind of followed those like secondary side characters from the first one I was just so excited when I got that and I ate it up and I feel like it was perfect again adding that new character the new romance because it's not like going into this where she could have taken it in a whole different route where like the main romance and the main characters from the first one are you know they're the new problem in this but it was really focused on the problem of the magic of what happened at the end of the first one and I don't know I just think she did such a great job I can go on and on about it but the songs for this one being war of hearts I did something bad and young and beautiful I think are perfect I honestly think the playlist I was listening to and again I love music when I'm reading the vibes of Two Twisted Crowns and One Dark Window like both books like just the the musical vibes of like the playlist I was finding just it makes the reading experience so much better because you get like that eerie music in the background while reading this it just makes the vibes the setting and all of that just so much better I don't know what I'm gonna rate this right now I'm sitting at a 4.5 I feel like this is one of those books where it was the right book wrong time I was kind of slowly reading it it took me a bit to get through and I feel like if I read this in more of a mood reading mood where I was really wanting to read it I think I 
could have given it like 4.75 and I know that's not a big difference between 4.5 I'm like in the fours right now but I don't know it could have even been a five star like I don't know this book is just so good I love her writing and it's unlike any other fantasy ever like it's just so good but I think I'm gonna stick with the 4.5 I loved it I loved it so much clearly I can talk about it for so long but this video was so fun again we all know I love music when I'm reading and just finding songs to books like I just love it so much and all the songs that I, I found for these books that I've read I feel like they all made sense with it and I just love listening to music when I'm reading so this was so fun having the music kind of pick the books that I was reading and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you did let me know if you've read any of these books if you're gonna listen to this music when you're reading the books I don't know don't forget you guys can click the link in my description to shop with top cashback if you want to earn money for shopping which is literally the best thing ever my new found favorite thing that I've been using for a few weeks every time I shop highly recommend so that's in the description if you're interested again I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you did and I will see you hopefully in the next one bye